Let me begin by thanking the Commonwealth Youth Quorum for the invitation to this webinar. Let me also introduce my organization, the Commonwealth of Learning, which was established by heads of Commonwealth government to support member states and institutions to use distance education and technologies for expanding access to education and training. Our headquarters are in Vancouver, and we have a regional office, the Commonwealth Educational Media Center for Asia in New Delhi. We work in 54 countries that cover all regions of the globe. Today, I will address the topic, education, the new normal. What will this new normal be? The Commonwealth, as you know, has a population of 2.4 billion with 60% of them under the age of 30. So it's a young commonwealth in need of education and training. Youth unemployment in commonwealth countries at 17% is higher than the global average. As the impact of COVID-19 unfolds, this is expected to be further exacerbated, particularly for women. When the COVID crisis struck and campus institutions were forced to close with implications for millions of students, open universities remained open. There are 31 open universities in the Commonwealth that have an enrollment annually of over 5 million. The scale that open universities achieve drives down the costs per university graduate to be less than half of what their campus counterparts pay. So the new normal will include greater attention to distance learning, which has developed strategies to reach a diversity of learners, including the most remote and marginalized. And research does show that there's no significant difference between distance and traditional classroom instruction in terms of learning outcomes. And yet there is a lingering perception, especially in the developing world, that distance education is not as effective as class-based learning. For example, when universities had to go online, students in South Africa and Zimbabwe took to the streets in protest. The new normal will see more uses of technology. The Open University of Malaysia has already developed chatbots to provide personalized tutoring facilities to its learners. During this crisis, virtual reality was being used in the US to train nurses, while simulations have been used for technical vocational educational training in Shanghai. Now, assessment has been a challenge during this crisis. And AI-based assessment provides feedback to learners, teachers, and parents about how the students learn, the support they need, and the progress they are making. Micro-credentials are leading to the possibility of offering shorter, just-in-time courses that can be taken at one's own pace or time. The credentials can also be transferred from one institution to another. So more flexibility will be a key feature of the new normal, including the use of AI-based proctoring tools for online assessment. Today, we have a vast resource of open content, or OER, that we can adopt or adapt according to our needs. So what are the benefits? A study in Antigua and Barbuda showed that not only did the use of OER save costs for the students, but also improved learning outcomes. Ebola crisis hit West Africa a few years ago. We sent OER for secondary schools to Sierra Leone for printing and distribution to students while they waited for their schools to reopen. Today, there are hundreds of OER repositories, and these are especially valuable during this crisis when countries are looking for quality content right away. 
the new normal will witness a greater focus on increasing access to affordable quality education through the use of technologies and free resources. In the new normal, we will need to pay greater attention to climate change. Distance and online learning have a lower carbon footprint. Call conducted a study in Botswana which found that the average carbon footprint of the distance learner is one third compared to that of a campus student. The new normal is going to be a blended environment, a mix of online and face-to-face -face teaching for a long time to come. But how many students have access to electricity, computers, connectivity? With only half the world's population having access to the internet, how do we ensure that no one is left behind? Call's MOOC for Development provides simple technology solutions such as a basic mobile phone interface, social media integration, and delivery in low bandwidth situations to reach remote communities. We offered these tools in a course for gardeners who learned horticulture in their local language through their basic mobile phones. Call developed Aptus, a low-cost offline virtual classroom that provides learners in remote locations with access to digital resources. It's a server that works with a solar charger and a wireless router and costs approximately $150. These boys on a beach in Fiji can download content on their mobile devices without being connected to the electric grid. The new normal will require innovations and a more open mindset to adapt to changing realities. So as students, what can you do? First, develop skills to learn online and become self-directed learners. Second, engage in group learning activities to remain connected with peer groups and with teachers. Third, develop critical skills to understand privacy issues, security issues, and the negative impact of misinformation in a digital world. Let me offer you a great opportunity to develop all these skills and many more free of cost. Under their Workforce Recovery Program, Coursera has made licenses available to call for Commonwealth citizens. Each participant has access to 4,000 online courses from top universities in the world, other institutions as well, and can complete multiple courses by 31st December 2020. Call's help desk with volunteers from around the Commonwealth are offering academic and administrative support to the registrants. You too can benefit from this generous call Coursera offer by sending a consolidated list of names and email IDs through the Commonwealth Youth Quorum to call at this email address, which you've seen on the screen. We will then invite the nominees to join the program and start on courses of their choice. I think this will be a perfect way of preparing for the new novel. Thank you.